Five things I wish I would have known before I started growing out my grays. One, hair does not grow as fast as you think it grows. Why is it that I could barely make it four weeks after coloring my hair before my lovely silvers started popping out? But when I decided to actually stop dyeing my hair, it seemed to take forever. It's been 84 years. I'm a couple years in and still have not fully grown out my grays. Two, there is no right or wrong way to grow out your grays, despite the fact that so many people have all kinds of opinions about the best way to do it, you can do it however it feels best for you. I personally chose to go cold turkey. I just stopped dyeing my hair and I let it naturally grow out. Others get things like low lights or highlights. Others try to do some blending or even growing out a little bit and then their stylist matches their hair tones and dyes the rest of their hair. There is no right or wrong way to do it. The best way to do it is the way that makes you feel most confident. Three, gray hair has a tendency to be a bit more fragile. And for somebody like myself who already has fine hair, I really was not prepared for the fact that I would have to baby my gray hairs. Even though my hair was always fine, it seemed pretty strong. And so some of the things that you do to your hair when you're coloring it, you can't treat it the same way when you're growing out your grays. You have to kind of baby them and nurture them. And so it's really important that you do things to strengthen your hair, whether that means taking supplements or using products that provide extra strength and resilience to your hair. All of those things are very important if you want to have healthy, shiny, vibrant looking gray hair. Four, gray hair has a tendency to yellow or become brassy when it's exposed to ultraviolet light or too much heat. So it's very important to protect your grays, whether that's by wearing a hat when you're in the sun or using a product that has a UV protectant in it. Definitely using heat protectant when you are styling your hair with hot tools. And then if you do end up with some brassy tones, you can always counteract those by using a purple shampoo or a purple mask to tone down the brassiness. Yellow and purple are opposite ends of the color spectrum when you use those purple masks and shampoos. They will help to revive your gray, silver, white hair. Five, how much I would love my natural hair color. So deciding to go gray or to ditch the dye is a highly personal choice and when it's time to do it, you'll know. You don't have to force it. And during the process of deciding to go gray, deciding to let my natural hair color grow out, I did have a lot of periods where I wasn't sure if it was the right thing for me to do. And even once I started doing it, I kind of had second thoughts now and then during those really awkward phases. And of course, people have opinions, strong opinions, either way about whether or not you should grow out your hair. Ultimately, whatever makes you feel most confident in who you are and the natural beauty that you have is what's best for you. So let it grow, keep coloring it, whatever makes you feel good.